Here's a little look at uh, Final Cut Pro and uh, 10 and uh, the video card. Uh, I'm going to go down here on the timeline and watch how the skimmer doesn't quite keep up with the mouse. And now I'm going to go over here and I have both Final Cut and Motion 10 or Motion uh, 5 open. And I'm now going to go up and try to adjust uh, this graphic. So let's set that there. And now I want to click on this gra graphic and move it. Notice how it doesn't move when the hand moves, how behind it is. Okay, now I'm going to go over and try to adjust the graphic with the uh, just the uh, wheel on the mouse. You know, I'm you can't really see me turning. Let's do it this way. I move the numbers and look on the right how the uh, draggy performance to say the best. You know, you move it and it goes too far and you come back um, and you move it again. Let's try a change of uh, timeline uh, on the uh, thing. It seems to be pretty fast at this time. And our skimmer again is kind of behind. It isn't skimming at the speed that it really should be. That's all before the graphics card change. Once again, Final Cut 10 is open. Installed is the ATI 5780 card set up for two monitors. And we're going to go through the same kind of things again. Motion is open and Final Cut Pro 10 is open. So we'll select that and as you can see I think the um, slider is following the mouse much closer. Now let's go to the example we showed of trying to move the graphic. Uh, and if I wanted to reposition the graphic, I'll grab it and slide it. And it seems to be just a bit faster. Uh, the way they'd like you to do it is probably like this and there's no huge lag like there used to be. Now this is only with two programs open. Changing in a, to another um, project, fairly rapid, and here you can see the uh, slider uh, following the mouse uh, awful darn close.